fuck I don't know what to do Do I want this too much? I know I have burned you once before What's up everyone? Welcome back to your channel, Writer Life Institute. I'm Alicia. Today I want to talk about your ex is playing you and is rebound and what to do about it. So some of you have noticed it, that your ex partner seem to want you and want the rebound and maybe want somebody else as well on the go. Some people have big stomachs. <laughs> if you're the person, just had a relationship with that person. And you too just break up. And when I say just, it could be one year ago you broke up, but you are the last person they were dating. And now they're dating somebody else. And they seem to want to be involved with you, but also be involved with the rebound or that person they're seeing. And also maybe there's somebody else in the picture. So, so many people invited to the party usually that make a good party but in the romantic area that is you know sign of a disaster to come so what should we do about it my first advice to you the person that were, were in a relationship with that person remove yourself don't play the game don't ask them why they're doing it don't ask about the new person they're seeing it doesn't matter who they're seeing it's not your problem that has nothing to do with you you need to focus on you and you need to choose you because because what they did here is that they were wrong for your breakup or you're wrong. It doesn't matter. They didn't want to work things out with you. They did not choose you. They started something else with somebody else. So some of you don't know when you were together, were you already thinking to do this? Was it the reason why the relationship didn't work? Because you wanted to try some new people? Or was the deal? Doesn't matter. My advice to you is do not play the game. It's not just about the ex. Met. It's very, very bad for you to get involved with somebody, anyone that is already in relationship with somebody else. But these things become more, you know, but these things become more important when it's an ex partner, you know? Before, if you were not together and you know they're seeing some people and you're seeing some people, that's a bit okay. Everybody you need to see uh, what is the best deal and what's the best offer they can get out there. That's all normal. You should do that. You should not jump to the first person that say, I found you cute. Oh, really? You know. So, in this uh, situation, that person is your ex. And with any ex, we are not playing. What things we need to do, it's not to play, no matter what the game is. If you see your ex is dating somebody else, you need to remove yourself and let them be. Let the person have the life they want with that person. You need to care yourself and don't feel flattered and start to figure out why your ex is calling you, why he want to pass time with you, why he's talking now about how wonderful you are why 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 doesn't matter this is the same things if you're dealing with a married man that say you are the best he's in love with you he, he cannot stop thinking about you and shop, 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 shop. doesn't matter anybody that is with somebody else is a big red flag for big problem to come for you they don't want you they may just want to see if they still got it with you they still can get you you know they just want to see can i still can I still you know and you need to clearly you know make it clear with no doubt who anyone minds playing this kind of thing and anyone that is with somebody else trying on you and that it should not be flattered it should be feel insulted actually because they they think you are that stupid that you will fall for this. They think you are that stupid that you may agree to set yourself up to be at the second place in their life or to be the side chick corner on their life or to be the girl they have nothing with. They will come to you when it arranges them. They uh, will know you, you won't be able to ask them anything. If they, you see them with that person, they await. You won't be able to say anything about it. 
Don't get involved with this kind of thing. The only thing you're gonna get is low self-esteem, pain, and frustration, and stress. It's not worth it, especially when it's an ex. You know, the relationship is over, and uh, we don't want to lower ourselves down for anyone. You know, especially not the ex. So if this is what you notice is going on, that the ex want to play you, and also play that that new person there with, they basically want you both dismiss it offer to him or to her for those two to be together you will move yourself you're not interested by any threesome you're not interested to have something that basically you're dating somebody that think you're an idiot somebody that think he's so awesome that he can have two girls chasing after him to boost his ego please for some of you that started to be involved and you didn't get it that this is not going to go anywhere and this is not good news for you and you're already involved, it's not too late to remove yourself. Do not let somebody take you for a, you know, a ride and damaging you further. There are a lot, a lot, a lot, so many, so many single guys out here, single girls out here running loose that you don't need to involve yourself. Even if it's an ex that is already over there with somebody. You know, personally me, when, when an ex tell me uh, I'm seeing someone, I'm put off. I'm like, <laughs> okay, good luck and uh, good. But me trying to be involved with you when you choose somebody else over me that and you are busy over there. And let's just quickly talk about the ex that do that, that break the relationship because they wanted to try some people. And then they see that, okay, it doesn't work or they get tired of that those people and then they want to come back to you. I will not take an ex that did that. I will not take them back because they are not the same person that you knew. They are now having somebody else or so different people energy in them. And an ex that break your relationship to try other people and you take them back, chance is they're going to do the same thing, you know? Uh, and I'm not saying that's for the same for everybody. Some people may have felt suffocated. Um, they may, uh, in a stage of their life, they don't know what they want. But still, it's too easy like that, you know? You wanted to sleep with some people, now you did that, and now you're coming back. Sorry, it's just, uh, uh, it's not worth it. Somebody like that, they're never going to stop to be like that. Because the issue is not with you, the issue is with themselves. So that's the video I wanted to make today regarding your ex is trying to play you and the rebound so be kind let them play let let her or him play with whoever you want but not with you you remove yourself you uh, completely remove that feeling to feel flatter maybe because he loved me but maybe maybe somebody that love you don't get involved with somebody else somebody that love you try to find a way to make it work with you and don't start to sleep around with other people and when he's tired of his sleeping around he's coming back home to you no eh? and somebody that love you is not going to see you as an option a second option to play with right so i won't get involved with that so guys if you like this video give a big like uh, subscribe to the channel and share with me what was your experience with exes that are already involved with somebody else they're sleeping with somebody else they're dating somebody else and sometimes they're giving you mixed signal that they may be interested by you and maybe they won't mind sleeping with you by going back over there as well get rid of those people they're toxic they're a waste of time uh you're not going to get anything with that you're just going to get headache all right so i'm Alicia, and this is your channel Brighter Life Institute. I thank you so much for watching this video today. Bye. Fuck, I don't know what to do. Do I want this too much? I know I have burned you once before.